make for some of the most refined instrumentals that Tyler has ever been on. And then conversely, uh, just because of the bad mixing and the bad production, uh, there are some instrumentals here that are some of the worst that have ever been on a Tyler the Creator album. So while I don't really care for this LP, uh, I do have to give it to Tyler for being one of the few artists out there bold enough to simultaneously disappoint and impress so consistently. I'm feeling a strong 3 to a light 4 on this album. They possibly can to amuse themselves. And that's fine. Tyler makes music for himself. He even says that on the first track of this album. But I guess that means he doesn't make music for me. So if you don't like this album, then I guess he didn't make it for you. All I know is that from front to back, I did not enjoy Goblin. There are some great tracks I pull out of it, but you know, kind of a strong four to a light five. Awkward, despite the fact that they may be heartfelt and very emotive. The instrumentals are a definite improvement. The feature list is pretty impressive, and getting people like Erica Badu and even Letitia Sater on your album is... Eh. I'm feeling a strong six to a light seven on this thing. But any other way, personally. The album closes up with Tyler kind of talking with his therapist and concluding that overall he's a good kid, but he's kind of misled. And I believe that to be true. But if I'm to use the music on this thing as a guide, I'm not really worried about him eventually finding his way. Right now I'm feeling a strong 7, a very strong 7 to a light 8 on this album with more consistent goblin stage for sure. The way Tyler produces, writes, raps, and dissects and and describes his world uh, is just so much better than it used to be. And I think even he is uh, well aware of that. I'm feeling a light to decent eight on this one track. This album has been about thus far. Not really much. Still though, despite those shortcomings, I think this album is Tyler's best effort to date. It's a very tight 47 minutes. It's his best produced album, his best written and conceived album, his best performed and rapped album. And I loved a great deal of the tracks on this thing. I'm feeling a decent to strong eight on this record settling image. Overall, I think Igor is a fantastic album and is easily one of the best breakup albums of the decade, which is no small feat considering that we're literally right toward the end of this decade. I'm feeling a decent to a strong nine on this thing. Trans